In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys seven money saving tips. And the good thing about this video is that these tips are not going to be anything crazy. I'm not going to tell you to shower once per week or divide your bat bar into eight slices or recycle toothpaste or anything crazy, which is what I see when I watch a lot of these YouTube videos on money saving tips, because I see these videos of people telling you to stop showering, stop using soap, recycle deodorant, reuse tea bags and a bunch of other strange things. And most likely these are only going to save you just a few cents. So in this video, I'll give you seven realistic money saving tips that can help you to save more money right now. Now, with that said, just before we get into all the money saving tips that I have for you guys today, we'll be kicking this video off with a $100 giveaway four lucky winners, one winner each week off $25. And all you have to do for a chance to win is to drop a comment below as we'll be selecting a random comment for a winner and then hop on over to my website and subscribe with your email address as that's how we'll be announcing the winners every single week. Now, if you're new to the channel and this is the first time that you're seeing me, my name is Ian. And on this channel, I talk about ways to make money. I talk about ways to save money. I talk about bank accounts and credit cards and everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos and you like these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel with all the notifications on. And that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos, which is every single day on this channel. So let's get right into the seven methods or ways that you can save some extra money right now. And the first one on the list is to turn on automatic savings on your bank account. If you don't have a bank account that has this feature, then it's time to switch to a banking account that has no fees and gives you a checking account and savings account and everything all for free. So for example, you could sign up for Chime and you can do this with any other bank that has all these features. But Chime, for example, has a feature where it automatically rounds up your purchases and saves the difference in your savings account, which is also a high yield savings account. And that way you're always automatically saving money without doing anything. Now that's not the only good thing about these accounts, but also if you use an account like Chime, for example, they have a feature where you can actually set an amount of money. So every time you get paid and a direct deposit goes into your checking account, the app will automatically pull a certain amount of money that you decided on and put that money into your savings account. And that way you're always automatically saving without even having to think about it. Now, of course, you can do this with SoFi Money, Discover, and some other banks, but with Chime, you can also get $100 for free if you sign up and deposit $200 from your direct deposit to your account. So here's an opportunity to get this feature or the features of saving money, and also to get $100 completely free and if you want this offer, you can check the link down below in the description where you can sign up for Chime and that way you can get some money to start saving really quickly. Now, the second way I want to talk about is your phone bill and a lot of people are overpaying for phone services because they simply haven't realized that they can pay way less and still get all the same features. So for example, my phone bill was around $70 per month for a single line and this was unlimited. However, I then found Mint Mobile where I could spend only $15 per month and I would also get unlimited and I I immediately started saving myself about $50 per month without really changing anything. So this is also another cool, quick and easy way to start saving more money. And this is by changing your phone service provider because you can probably find one that will charge you a lot less and you'll end up saving a lot of money every single month. Now, the third way to save money really quickly without doing anything crazy is to simply look at your checking account or at your credit card statements and look at all these subscriptions that you're actually paying for right now. And this one is very important because a lot of people have subscriptions that they don't even remember about. So for example, you may have signed up for Spotify and then you may have signed up for Apple Music and then you may have signed up for some other streaming services. And so you have three when you're only using one. You're probably not using any and you could unsubscribe from these subscriptions that you're not using, which would save you some more money. Also, you want to look at these subscriptions that you currently have because you may have subscriptions subscriptions that are giving you multiple services that you're paying for with other subscriptions. You can actually cancel some of these subscriptions and still have access to all the media that you need. Again, this should be quick and easy. And all you need to do is to look at your checking account or your credit card statements for the subscriptions that you're still paying for and unsubscribe from any of these that you're not needing or not currently using right now. Now, the fourth tip is to set a goal and this has to be set because you need to be able to measure what you're doing so you can actually track your progress and get to that goal. 
So for example, if you just set out to save some money and there's no goal, then there's really no incentive to consistently save any particular amount of money versus having a goal of saving like $10,000. And then because you have that goal, you can now decide on how much money you need to save and how frequently you need to save that amount of money to get to that goal that you've set. Also, it's good to set long-term and also short-term savings goals. So instead of trying to save $100,000 in one year as your first goal, you could probably set a short-term goal, which is to save maybe $10,000 in a year, and then use that money to start maybe a side gig or side hustle. And then with that income from that side gig or side hustle, you can save $100,000. But the point is you need to set goals because you need to be able to measure your progress. Now, the fifth money saving tip that you guys can use is to actually avoid debt, especially bad debts. And bad debt is anything that is going to cost you five to six percent or more in interest per year. So if you have credit card debt, then this is a complete no no because most credit cards charge you around or between 14 to 25 percent in interest. So you want to get rid of credit card debt and you want to avoid credit card debt and any other personal loans or any type of debt that is going to charge you a lot of interest. This way, instead of spending money on interest payments that take forever to go away, you can use that money towards your savings. Now, if you're struggling with paying off debt and you're in a lot of debt right now, you can watch my video on the three best methods of paying down debt and you can choose one from those strategies from that video, whichever one you like the most, and you can get this debt removed. Now, the sixth money saving tip that I can give to you guys is to purchase used items whenever you can instead of new. Now, of course, I'm not telling you to go and purchase a mattress used or purchase the used underwear or anything crazy like that, but there are things that you could purchase used that look like new that will save you some money and also save you depreciation on these things. So for example, a new iPhone comes out every year. Instead of purchasing the iPhone exactly when it comes out, you can purchase it a couple months later or even weeks later, you could purchase the iPhone from the previous year where it's going to significantly fall in value once the new iPhone is released. You can also do the same thing for cars and other things that depreciate a lot in the first or in the second year of owning them. Now, finally, the last money saving tip that I want to leave with you guys is to simply create a budget and you need to create a budget because you cannot improve your personal finances if you simply don't track them and you don't know what you're spending money on or how much money you're actually making. So for tracking expenses, I usually recommend the SoFi Money account or you guys can use another account if you can find all the same features or you could use the envelope method. But the point here is that you want to have separate accounts. So you want to have an emergency fund account. You want to have an investment account. You need to have an account for recreational purposes and you want one for savings. And this way you budget and you allocate a certain percentage of your income to every single thing. And that way you don't overspend in one category and then end up underspending in another category. And this way you'll always have more money to save. Now, if you stop and think about it, these tips that I'm giving you right now are very simple tips. And all you really need to do is to put these into practice and to be consistent. If you can follow these, then you'll definitely be able to save some more money every single week or every single month. Again, you don't have to do anything crazy like saving on toothpaste or any of these crazy ideas that you watch in these YouTube videos. And all you really need to do is to make a few simple adjustments that really won't affect your quality of life and you can still be able to save more money every single week or every single month. Now, with that said, I want you guys to comment below and let me know some of the money saving tips that you found over the years that have helped you to save more money that I didn't mention in this video. Comment below so we can see what they are and that way anyone else that watches this video will be able to benefit from those tips that you're leaving and also, before you leave this video, be sure to check the links down below in the description, especially that link to Chime that I mentioned earlier on in the video, because you can get $100 for free if you sign up for Chime and deposit just $200 in your Chime checking account from your direct deposit. And that's $100 free to go towards your savings right now. So with all that said, thanks for watching, all the best, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one.